Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing my journey of successful passing the AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty Certification Exam on my first attempt. Right after the exam, I get the information about my learning path, study materials, and a test experience aiming to provide valuable insights that could assist others in achieving this highly esteemed cloud certification. Upon receiving my certification, a common question I encountered was about the difficulty of the exam. In a nutshell, I found it to be quite challenging compared to other AWS and GCP cloud certifications I obtained. Let's delve into the exam overview page on the AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty. You can see the certifications purpose and the target candidate are online. Providing a quick snapshot of the exam level, length, format, and delivery method. As of this video recording, the AWS Machine Learning Specialty Certification Exam is a 3-hour, actually it's a 190 minutes test comprising 65 questions. All questions are in multi-choice uh, and uh, multiple select formats, and you have the option to take the exam either at a test center or online. Personally, I opt for the remote online option. The exam questions revolve around real scenario-based user cases, putting a significant emphasis on your practical experience in AWS. For a more comprehensive understanding of the exam content, you can access the exam guide. It's essential to be aware that there are 15 unscored questions. The exam utilizes a scaled scoring system ranging from 100 to 1000, with the minimum passing score established at 750. The exam is structured around four content domains with respective weightings. Is allocating 20% to the data engineering, 24% to exploring data analysis, 36% to modeling, and 20% to machine learning implementation and operations. From these weightings, you should allocate more study time to the modeling domain, particularly focused on the SageMaker models. It's not necessary to excel in the AV domain as your score report will detail your performance in each section. So here's my, my score report example. And you can see the, this is to show my performance at each section level. Before you go to exam, make sure you uh, have a solid understanding of all technologies and AWS service listed in the guide's appendix that are fall within the scope of the exam. One more thing, it is unlike some older AWS certification exams, the past few result is not immediately displayed at the end of the exam. Instead, your detailed exam results will be accessible within five business days in your AWS certification account on the exam history. If you successfully pass, you may even receive a credit digital badge email notification before your exam results are officially posted to your AWS certification account. I received my notification two days after the exam. Now let's explore the learning path and the study materials. Prior to this, I had obtained AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate and Big Data Specialty Certifications. By the way, the Big Data Specialty Certification has been retired. I personally don't prioritize certifications. I view certification exams as a means to facilitate comprehensive learning. Consequently, I choose not to renew my expired certifications, but rather acquire new ones to gain fresh knowledge. 
If you hold a certification in AWS architecture or data-related fields such as database and data analytics, it can significantly reduce your uh, preparation time. For those without existing certifications, AWS offers a well-structured machine learning path for exam preparation. All training courses under the recommended uh, progression section are free, except for the last one, which is the exam itself. In my case, I skipped the storage deep dive and the big data sections uh, opting to review my old study notes with the latest AWS features in those areas. I then compiled a cheat sheet specially for those topics to aid in my machine learning exam preparation. On the AWS Certified Machine Learning Specialty page, especially in the Prepare for Your Exam section, you will find various free training courses and materials. Take advantage of these resources and visit the AWS Skill Builder if you wish to delve into specific AWS services. The courses under the Data Science category align with those on the ML Path exam preparation page I strongly recommend reading the two um, white papers, particularly focusing on the reference architectures, uh, architecture frameworks, and the ML life cycle. In addition to the two white papers, consider watching the end-to-end -end ML ops for the architectures video on the YouTube. Personally, I found it more accessible uh, to, compre to comprehend the iterative ML process and architecture diagrams presented in the video compared to the diagrams in the white papers. You may also want to dedicate some time to exploring the FAQs on the ML services. Notably, you can escape a code group and comprehend medical as I didn't encounter any exam questions related to these two, you can enhance your preparation by practicing with the AWS sample questions and the official practice question set for the AWS ML Specialty Certification Exam. The exam plays a significant emphasis on SageMaker. To aid in your preparation, I recommend exploring the following free training materials on the SageMaker. I strongly advise delving into the SageMaker Developer Guide, particularly focusing on its um, features and built-in algorithms. The majority of the exam questions are centered around these two areas, cover all major features except SageMaker projects, uh, Studio Classic Git extension, and the training compiler, as I did not encounter any questions on these uh, topics. In the section dedicated to SageMaker built-in algorithms or pre-training models, carefully go through each problem and user cases gain a comprehensive understanding of the problem types and determine which built-in algorithm serves as the optimal solution. It's beneficial to conduct comparisons among built-in algorithms. For instance, compare word to weak versus object to weak versus object detection, LDA versus uh, NTM, CNNQR vs. DeepAR plus, CNN vs. RAN, and CNN vs. K-means, and so on. In my preparation, I also utilize ChatGPT to assist me in comparing some algorithms, such as the Neural Collaborative Field Team, NCF, 
and、uh, factorization machines (FM) for our recommended system. ChatGPT provides a concise summaries that provide a valuable in my exam preparation. If you are seeking SageMaker learning videos on YouTube. AWS has an excellent resource in the SageMaker Technical Deep Dive series. Even though it's four years old, this series effectively summarizes how each algorithm addresses a specific prediction problem. Additionally, the Machine Learning Infrastructure Services page illustrates the traditional ML development process. Highlights its complexity, cost, and iterative nature from preparation and building to training and deployment. Take a look of these services and their significance in the overall machine learning development process. You can also search for paid training courses such as from Cloud Academy, Udemy, and Coursera. Depends on your preference and budget. Now let's move to the lessons learned. Embarking on the journey to attain the AWS Machine Learning Specialty Certification, I've gathered valuable insights that significantly contribute to a more efficient and successful exam experience. Here are the key lessons learned based on my experience. Before you register for the exam. Take advantage of the opportunity to request exam accommodations by logging into your AWS training and certification account and selecting Request Exam Accommodations. You can ensure an extra 30 minutes, especially beneficial for non-native English speakers. While the standard exam time is sufficient, the additional time provides a calming advantage. Optimize your exam scheduling by registering when thoroughly prepared. If possible, consider registering on the same day, provided there is an available spot for an online exam. This approach ensures flexibility and convenience. When choosing an online exam, complete all necessary actions before the exam day, following the Pearson Bus instructions. Sign in 20 minutes earlier to allow for seamless start. Prioritize early sign-in to mitigate stress and address potential sign-in issue promptly. I incurred a wait of about 80 minutes due to sign-in issues. During the test, utilize the flagging system within the exam interface strategically. Mark questions that require a second review, facilitating a systematic approach to double-checking and ensuring accuracy in the response. Acknowledge the absence of scheduled breaks in the online exam, and plan your exam taking strategy accordingly. Ensure mental preparedness for an uninterrupted session. Manage your time effectively to maintain focus. Throughout the entire duration, consider minimize water intake before the exam and taking the last bathroom break after you completing the checking process. I also recognize the significance of a last-minute cheat sheet review before commencing the exam. Glancing through the key notes or summarize to reinforce critical concepts and boost your confidence. This brief review serves as a vital mental preparation step. I hope these lessons I learned from my experience can enhance your overall learning path and increase the likelihood of success in obtaining the AWS Machine Learning Specialty Certification. Thank you all for joining me on this incredible journey towards achieving the AWS Machine Learning Specialty Certification. Best of luck to each of you on your certification exam. Until next time, take care and see you soon.